Hey guys, it's Talks for Always. It's Wednesday and it's time for another Tavern Brawl. Um, let me just make sure my stream is working. <clears throat> um, I do have a bit of a cold, getting a cough. So uh, excuse me for any coughing I may do during the stream. Um, but yeah, okay, looks like stream is good. Let's see what the Tavern Brawl is. Is it something new? I hope so. <clears throat> a new set of crazy rules. I don't hey, remember wait. this picture. It's raining mana. Dalaran floats overhead. It's soaking your deck with mana. On your first turn, you get one like normal, but then you get three, then five, then seven. Okay, so you basically get two mana crystals per turn. You still start with one. Um, so, it's interesting. I guess, so you're always going to have an odd number until you get to 10, then you're stuck at 10, but, um, so I don't know if that means you want to occur with an odd number, odd numbered mana? I don't think so. I think it won't matter too much. I mean, you're going to get to 10 pretty quickly. Um... What deck would benefit from this the most? I guess I have to think about what cards I have too. So, I don't have a whole lot of class legendaries. The class legendaries I do have, I have Jaraxxus for Warlock. I've got um, um, Bolvar and uh, Edric the Pure, the Paladin. Are those my only? Oh no, I have a uh, I have uh, Edwin Van Cleef now for Rogue. Those might be all of my class legendaries. I don't think I'm missing any. I might be, but I don't think so. <coughs> um, what's gonna be? I think Priest generally benefits from having lots of mana. Or having big creatures out because um, they can heal them. But it, since everyone's going to have big creatures, there might not be a chance to heal. Um, I think actually I'm going to do Jaina. I'm going to throw two it, throw in two power blasts because it's a much more likely chance that we'll have we'll get to a point where we can cast these. <coughs> Flame strike. You know what? I'm going to try maybe do lots of freezing. Maybe. I want a lot of just, I think I'm going to try like for a burn deck maybe. Um, inspire spell damage. Eh. Maybe this isn't a good idea. I'm not. Sh I'm not really sure what I want to do. I mean, you get so much mana. Who really benefits from getting tons of mana? Oh, you know what? Well, except everyone's probably gonna be doing this. But jousting is going to be good because everyone's using... Did they make joust a keyword? They did! Oh no, that's just their name. Never mind. They didn't make it an actual... I mean, I know it's not a keyword, but I thought maybe you could search for joust. Reveal a minion in each deck. Reveal a minion in each. That's probably good enough. I only have three jousting cards. Oh, for mage. Let me look at my whole collection. No, get out of here, get out of here. Reveal a minion. In. Okay, so I've got one here. I've got two here, one here, three here. A shaman might be good.
I think I'm gonna do shaman. Yeah, I'm gonna do shaman. I'm gonna have a lot of uh, just damage spells, but then have a lot of high cost creatures. So that way, when I joust, all my creatures are high cost, but I still have things to cast uh, uh, lower. So let me delete this. Let's go with shaman. <clears throat> okay. Reveal. Is that the only one that actually even? I guess reveal is a new, a new thing. I guess there's no other cards that use reveal. That's interesting. I didn't, didn't think about that before. Okay. So. Uh, I think earth shock will be useful. Lightning bolt. Crackle. Maybe Lava Shock. Elemental Destruction might be good early on, just to clear the board. <coughs> Pearl Spirits to get some creatures out early that don't actually count as cheap creatures. Oop, let's do, actually, yeah, Hex. Lava Burst. Farsight too. And then, oh, that's, you know what? That's a whole lot of stuff already. Okay. I want more draw, actually, because I'm going to have to get rid of some stuff. Maybe I don't need Feral Spirit. I probably don't need the ju this Jouster. It's really low cost. I want more high cost stuff. Or creatures, anyway. Um, let's just go 7 plus. Let's see. Boom. <coughs> Um, Ragnaros, Kalpizad, Karian, Malagos for sure. I don't think I want to do Nose Dormu. Fools. Okay. Magus. If I'm getting extra draw. Let's throw in. Uh, let's. Come on, Emperor Thoros on, of course. For Malagos combo. I feel like I should maybe have Sylvanas in here. So what should I get rid of? Maybe Gruul. I have a lot of three drops. Didn't realize that. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. First couple turns, I'm probably going to get behind. Maybe this isn't the greatest, but uh, I'll try it. We'll see what happens. Um. Oh, I didn't put in, I didn't put in, um, Ancestor's Call. I wanted to put that in. What to get rid of? Oh, you know what? I want Frost Shock for damage. Because I just want more face damage, uh, spells. That's okay. It's okay. I have a lot of creatures to back up my mal my like spell casting once I get to more mana. Um, so ancestors call. What am I getting rid of? This is a low cost minion. I'll dump that. So I actually don't really have that much joust. I guess that's fine. Okay, let's start with this. See how it goes. Might have been good to keep the ancestors call in case I got a big minion. <laughs> Never mind. Guess it's fine that I didn't.
Um, I think I'm just gonna tote him out for now. Job's done. I'm conflicted because I want to save my spells for when I get Malgos out, but at the same time, I'm also going to need to try and keep board control, so. Reporting for duty. Okay. I'm not going to kill his uh, zombie chow right away. Let him do some damage to me first. Yeah, I'll just leave it like that. So I have five mana next turn. What can I do with five mana? Reporting for duty. <coughs> okay, so I'll I guess totem and lightning bolt. Until he plays a quartermaster. I have no time. I still don't, I just don't have a way to get rid of all those. I mean, unless I s use the spell for each one individually, and that's just a waste. I don't think I ended up putting in uh, lightning. Oh my gosh, lightning storm! I don't even. Why do I always forget that stuff? Okay, so I might just throw lava burst on her totem. <laughs> And end. <coughs> okay, gonna silence him with an earth shock. Reporting for duty. I think I want to save that, so silence him. I could. Yeah, I'll lightning bolt him too. And I'll unlock all my locks. Because who knows, maybe I'll get something good next turn, and I'll want mana. I'm not really, I mean, I can lava burst and crackle him, but I really rather get, yeah, I don't think this deck is working as well as I wanted it to. Okay, how much do I have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and totem. Okay. Oh. Doesn't make too much of a difference. We'll see how much Crackle hits for. I might be able to use Earth Shock instead of my Lava Burst. I'll do that first. Crackle. Nope, not quite enough. So I have to wait on Lava. I could have done Lava Burst and Earth Shock. Oh well. That's fine. <coughs> I'm not going to win this match. I need to make it a different deck. I don't really know what I was thinking. Everyone's going to have big creatures. And it's going to take me forever to find Malagos. If anything, it makes a combo deck like this worse because you have to find your combo pieces more quickly because your opponent's ramping up faster. So, combo decks in general, I think, aren't going to be as good. I am undefeated. All right. Don't know how much that necessarily helps me. Let's see if I get an elemental destruction to kill everything. Okay. 
Okay. Reporting for duty. Hmm. Well. I have no time for games. Don't think there's a whole lot I can do. Nope, that's gonna silence. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot I can do. Well played. I mean, if I kill this, and it doesn't hit my face, then he only has nine damage on board, but I'm sure he can get another damage somehow. Looks like he has a buff, so I think he can kill me. I don't know why he's. What's he doing? I see. You. Okay. Could he not kill me, really? Follow the rule. No. Reporting for duty. Okay. Well. That is actually pretty much perfect, because the only thing that'll live is Dr. Boom, so I'll steal Dr. Boom. Thank you. I'm at one health, so this I don't think I'm going to live much longer anyway, but... Maybe taunt, taunt. Healing. That's good, I guess. <laughs> That was interesting. Okay. All right, there's nothing I can do. Well, if I get a taunt to them, I'm okay, I guess. Okay. So maybe I'm all right. No, probably not. I don't have any way of... Well, we'll see what I draw next turn, but I don't have any way of killing that Murloc. And it'll make... Probably... I would assume he would use his hero power. I'm sh not sure why he didn't well played. last turn. I guess I guess he wanted to put that threat. Like, since I'm only at one, it would have been better, I think, for him to have used his hero power last turn to have two creatures out this turn rather than playing... Uh, Manipulator to get a uh, just one Doctor Broom. That was a mistake. So either way, he won. Didn't matter, but I think that was a mistake. Part. Okay, I gotta make some changes. So no combat X. That just doesn't work. I'm just going to I'm gonna delete that. I do kind of want to make it a shaman deck. I don't have any shaman legendaries or. I mean, I guess shamans have lots of big creatures. People just don't tend to use them. No, they're not even that big, because they just have overload. Um, so, Windspeaker would be nice for any big creature that gets a chance to attack. Put out Fire Mental, Fire Destroyer. So, if I play this on turn 5, then... Or not turn five, turn three. When I have, if I play this one, I have five mana. Then when I have seven mana, I'll be able to play this because the overload is only one. So I guess that's good. Um, no, well, yeah, I don't think drawing is necessarily a good thing. So, Ancestor's Call might be good early game, I guess. <coughs> Hex, sure. Healing wave, sure. Maybe Feral Spirit. Elemental Destruction. I don't know. Let's see. Wind Fury is going to destroy and return to health. That's good. 
Ancestral, sure. I don't think I need to draw cards actually. Um, those might be good. But you know what? I really I just want to start putting in big creatures. Boom, Stolen Champion, Chromagus, Keltizar, Gruul, Ragnaros, Varian, Malagos, maybe not. Because I don't have any spells really. Um, I guess I'll put the Giants in. Big bodies. Oh, um, I think Clockwork's less likely to be good. You know what? I'm going to take this out because even though I do want bigger stuff, I'm not really jousting. The only joust card I have is Healing Wave, so I'd rather just get good cards, which include Emperor and Sylvanas, Sylvanas, whatever. Um, could face this someone else's. Ooh, that's nice. Both that will be useful, I think. Okay, I think that's good. I have hex, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's try this out. I really want to do shaman just because I have. Uh, shaman's my lowest level hero right now. Like my mage is fifty six, which is about way above everything else. I think most of my guys are like forty to fifty ish. Like somewhere low to high 40s, I think. And then a Shaman's like 37 or something, so. Versus Gerash. Victory on death for Doomhammer. Okay, I get an extra card, which means I have a coin. I'm going to leave Thorson. In fact, actually, on turn 5, I can coin Thorson. And then turn... Not, not turn 5, but... Five mana, I can coin Thorosan, and then seven mana, I can play Ragnaros. Because Thorosan will have brought Ragnaros down, so I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. <coughs> oh. Uh, yeah, no, I'll play Fire Dark Guard Destroyer later. I could, I guess, turn three coin out, Fire Guard Destroyer. And then play Lotheb coin. No, I can't play Lotheb turn five because. Or if I played Fire Guard Destroyer, because I'd have Overload. And I'd already have used the coin, so. I'll just do that. And then, yeah. I'll just do Thorson. And then Ragnaros. And then we'll go from there. I think I'm going to play KT. Well. Because then he has to... Then everything else will get cheaper again. Probably... <coughs> he probably won't kill him this turn. On his upcoming turn, because I have to kill KT first. And if he can't kill KT this turn, then whatever I play next turn will be safe, probably for an extra turn. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Interesting. So I'm gonna play Ragnaros. I'm going to play Healing Wave. Are you kidding me? Okay, he has a K2 
two, so that's important to note. And I'm going to hope for a taunt. Nope. But that's not bad either, I guess. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Nice. Okay. Okay. Behold the armies of Stormwind. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, no creature. Uh oh. Ragnaros, okay, and Oh, okay. That's not too bad. As long as I can kill my KT, I'll be okay. And oh shoot, because he played it later. That's annoying. Uh, because he played it later, it didn't. Uh, he rezzed before he attacked. That's unfortunate. Okay. What can I do? Wait. So he didn't res at all. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. It still counts as his turn, so he's not going to res this turn either. That is not ideal. Um, I kind of want to play Nefarian, but I also... Um, I wonder. I don't know. Yeah, actually, I'm going to play Nefarian. See if I get a d spell that can damage Varian. Are you kidding me? It's not what I wanted. Um, play this. Uh, I don't know. I probably should have done that, but oh well. It just gives him extra reasons to attack him. Okay, well now he does not control over what he attacks. That's actually not bad. And I have so much on board, the chance of him getting KT isn't too great. So, that's not so bad. Varian's pretty cool. Oh, I forgot I played the... Oh, that, that's nice. Okay, that's fine. I don't need to load them. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to attack Let him so that he will res because I'm tired of Ragnaros killing things and not letting them res. Um, Pray. One, two, put Sylvanas out, put out Fireguard Destroyer, and put out a totem. Oh my gosh, I played too much and I didn't res. That was dumb of me. Oh well, I shouldn't have played a totem. That was silly. Uh, oh well. Uh oh. Execute. Ten to Oh, he's killing him. Okay, that's our first win. Yeah, I like this deck. I think it worked pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna open up this pack. Ooh, an epic. Two rares and an epic, that's a okay pack. I mean, I already have like, is that my second Molten Giant? I don't think I had two Molten Giants. I was just looking at them, I should know this, but I think that was uh, my second Molten Giant. Looks like it. Cool, all right, that's nice. Um, oh, I guess I'll disenchant stuff too. Okay. Um, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, I am going to stop this recording and start a part two. So, uh, should be a link in the description below for part two.